Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 50 amp LiPo 4 battery charger from Ardroid. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, when you first open the box, you were going to see some pretty heavy duty uh, battery clamps. Uh, that are connected to Anderson connectors. The next thing you'll see is another Anderson connection to uh, ring connectors. Uh, and these are rated for 60 amps. You'll also have your AC power cord. And then we have the battery charger itself along with a user's manual. All right, my initial view of this battery charger is that it just kind of screams uh, quality, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, it's a 50 amp charger, so it's it's a pretty good sized charger. It's an all metal case construction, so there's no plastic at all, which is really nice. Um, the wiring is, uh, there's two 8 gauge wires inside here that are connected to an Anderson connector. And like I said, these Anderson connectors, um, this are, you know, these are connected to a couple of very large alligator clips, you know, or battery clamps, I guess you could call them. I mean, they're full size automotive battery clamps. Um, and I like the fact that these Anderson connectors, they have this finger grip right here. So when you connect it up, you just clip it together and it's a very nice solid clip. And then when you pull them apart, you can just use those finger grips to pull it apart so there's no stress. Um, I like the fact that these, uh, these battery clamps, they are all rubber. This is all rubber. It's not plastic or anything like that. You, you know, you have to worry about dropping it and cracking the, you know, cracking the plastic. Uh, it's all rubber, which is really nice. And they are actually really nice and strong. So they're not going to come popping off your battery. I also like the fact that these wires are nice and thick. So I feel like you don't have to worry about them getting uh, too hot for the application that you want to use it for. Because you want to be able to charge up that 50 amps. You know, you want that full 50 amps. And I feel like these cables can do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, a pretty large battery, a 230 amp hour battery. And, uh, you know, we're going to charge it for like an hour. And we're going to see uh, how hot these are when we get done. Also, since this battery charger is uh, for lithium iron phosphate batteries only, it does come with the feature of uh, zero voltage charging. So if your battery, if, if your LiPo 4 battery is completely dead and your BMS has shut off the battery to protect the cells, this charger will be able to wake up that BMS with no problem and start charging it again. This battery charger also does come with a mounting plate, so you can actually mount it directly onto, onto the floor of your, your vehicle or your RV, uh, wherever you're gonna put it. They do say that you should mount it horizontally, so that way the, the airflow is optimal to keep this unit cool. Uh, there's also a little light right here, and if when you plug it in, it will be a solid green, uh, you know, if you don't have it connected to a battery. And it will also be solid green if you do have it connected to a battery and the battery is fully charged. And then it will start flashing red when it, you're connected to a battery and your battery is in between 20 and 80% state of charge. And then once it gets between uh, 80 and 100%, it starts flashing green. And then once the battery is completely full, uh, it will be a solid green. Uh, on this side, there is a fan, and then this is the AC input, and then there is an off-on switch right here. All right, well, enough about this talking about it. How about we go ahead and plug it into a battery and see how it operates? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the battery that we're going to be charging up today is going to be this Orient Power 230 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen the app that goes with this battery so you can see the state of charge and hopefully we'll be able to actually see the amount of charge going into the battery once we start up the charger. Uh, you can see that you can see that the battery is at 37% state of charge and it's sitting right at 13.14 volts. So let's go ahead and plug in the charger and see what that does. First, we'll go ahead and connect these up 
And what I like about Anderson connectors is that there's no way of accidentally reversing the polarity, so it's nice and safe. And then let's plug in the charger and let's plug it in. And the light is green. Perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, put it right on the battery. Make sure you connect your positive to positive, negative to negative. And instantly the fan turns on. And you can see on our app that it is ramping up the current to the battery right now. And look at that, it stops right at 50 to 50.1 amps going into this battery. So it is working exactly the way that it should. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and use an amp clamp just to confirm that that is correct. Yeah, and my amp clamp shows 50.8 amps going into the battery. And the reason I chose the alligator clips or the battery clamps, I guess I should keep saying, is I feel like that would generate the most heat. Those ring connectors, they'll be a lot more solid of a connection, which will reduce the heat. So I really wanna see what this will, this will do. So I'm gonna come back in an hour and we're going to put a thermal camera on this to see what the uh, temperature of all the wiring and the connections are. Okay, I was, uh, I was wanting to let you know, just on a side note, that this, uh, this battery charger, the fan on it is, you know, a bit loud. Um, you can tell, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet, but I'm gonna put this, uh, this sound meter on the screen so you can see how loud it is. And you can see that it, uh, it averages right around 55 decibels. Um, now, if you wanna compare that to something else, let's go in a room that's quiet. All right, we are now in the back of my basement, and uh, this is about as quiet as I can find in the basement. But look at what a quiet room is. Right around 32 decibels. So that is something to consider is if you're gonna have this battery charger in a room that uh, you're gonna be staying in often or you're gonna be sleeping in during the night, um, you know, that fan, uh, it definitely blows some air and it definitely will let you know that it's working. So keep that in mind. All right, well, it's been an hour and uh, we're looking at our charger now. You can see from a distance that uh, it looks like that side is right around 122 degrees. And um, so let's go ahead and get a closer look to see what the charger and the cabling is like. All right, uh, the outlet is right at 100 degrees, so that is nothing at all. The charger itself, the top, it looks like it's right around 90 degrees. So it is, it is just fine. Uh, this side over here, yeah, you know, we're looking at 123 to 129 degrees. So it is pretty warm. It definitely feels like 125 to 130 degrees. Let's see the other side. Uh, the other side says about 104. Uh, so it is a little warm, but no big deal at all. Let's see the cable. Uh, the cable looks to be, oh, you know, right around 100 degrees. Uh, you know, the closer you get to this, this connection right here, uh, we're looking at 120, 100, 115, something like that. And then when we get to these cables right here, uh, yeah, at the top here, right next to the uh, connection, the alligator clip or the battery connection, uh, you're looking at 140 degrees. So these, this is the warmest part of the actual charger right here. Uh, but these cables are rated for much higher. So 135 to 140 degrees is no big deal for this cable. And then when it actually comes to the battery clamps, they are, I mean, they're 87 degrees. That is no, no big deal at all. So everything about this battery charger is well below what, uh, what is considered uh, dangerous by any means. 
All right, and after picking up this battery from charging over an hour, um, the bottom felt just like the sides did. So you can expect the bottom to be, you know, right around 120 to 130 degrees, just like this one side. So if you're gonna be screwing it down, you'll wanna keep that in mind. So if you're looking for a battery charger that is going to be used for a 200 amp hour plus bank, uh, this is something to definitely consider. I like the fact that it's all aluminum. It's not made out of plastic. It has really beefy uh, battery cables. Uh, the wiring on it is nice and thick, so it's not underrated at all. And it does that consistent 50 amps of charge, which is nice. Uh, the only reason it wouldn't is if you're at the very, very bottom of your battery and it does a trickle charge to kind of get it warmed up or if you're at the very top end of your battery and then it kind of starts leveling off and lowering that amperage. If you have any questions about the Ardroid 50 amp lithium iron phosphate battery charger, please go ahead and just leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.